you are welcome to my channel in this video we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of uh, the screen where we'll be using the principle of tangency to reproduce the figure now the first thing you need to locate is the center of the major circle right and the major circle is this circle here and this is the center here now if you look at it to get the center just pick up your meter rule and you're going to draw your horizontal and what and vertical line if i put it that way i'm going to draw a horizontal line this way you can see that and make it more bolder we're going to draw an horizontal line this way then the next thing you place your compass your c square your t square and you draw another vertical line this way can see that and they are meeting at this point here which is the center now the outer circle has a diameter of 50 so i'm going to take half of 50 which is uh, 25 so I'll measure 25 on my meter rule from 0 to this is 25 here you see that and i'll place it here i'm going to draw a circle which i'm going to tick in can see that this is the first step now the second step is to draw the inner circle which has a diameter of what 32 as you can see so half of it will be what 16 that is the radius so i'm going to also measure 16 from here this is 15 and this is 16 here and i'll place it in the center now draw another circle which i'm going to take in now the next thing is since um at the end of the circle which at this point i'm going to draw a vertical line down right so at this end i'll draw a vertical line down this way Can see that and then a vertical line down this way which is the vertical line you see in here i use faint line first of all then the next thing i'm going to do on the line that i've drawn right i'm going to measure the height of what of 60 as shown in the figure the height of 60 as shown in the figure so i'm going to take it this way and measure height of 60 from this point height of 60 you can see that there's the height of 60 from that point it's stopping here so from that point I'm going to draw an horizontal line this way. You see the horizontal line? So let me take this up so you will have a good glass of it. After I've drawn this line here, right? I will project this point. I'm going to project this point downward also to meet it at this point here. So you were told that towards the left, you can see from the center, which is the center here, I'm going to measure 32 towards the left. 
I'm going to measure 32 towards the left. So this is from here, the 32 here. So this is 32 at this point here, towards the left. You can see that? So that point will be the center for the first circle. So I'll just draw my center line here, long, long, short, long, short, and so on. And um, the other one is 40, as you can see, towards the right. So from this center here, I'm going to measure 40 from 0 to 4 is 40. So that will be the next center. So I'll just use my center line to denote it. So I'll use a long one, short, long, just like that. You can see that? So this line you see here, I'm going to use it as a center line also. This is long, short. And here also, we've got in the two center of the circle, which are the, which is this center and the center, right? So the next thing is to draw the circle, and the circle, if you look at it, it says two buses, 25 diame millimeter diameter, and one drill, which is 15 millimeter diameter. So what we're going to do is, half of 25, that will be 12.5. So this is 0 here. This is 10, 11, 12.5. At this point here. Then I'm going to the center. I'm going to draw. So I'm going to do what? Thicken it. The same thing will happen here also. I'll do the same thing here too. I'm going to take in it. Okay, see that? Now, it is now the drill inside, which is 15 millimeter diameter. Half of it to be what? 7.5. So I'm going to measure 7.5 on my meter rule. This is 5. 6, 7.5 is here. You can see that? So, I'll place it in center here. And I'm going to draw this. I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing. I'm going to draw this. You can see that. Now, the next thing is, if you look at this arc here, the arc has a radius of what? Of 70, right? And what is one common attribute of this arc is that it is going in. I call it a curve, right? It is going in. And when I told you whenever a curve or an arc is going in in tangency, you are going to add the radiuses. So if I add, we have diameter of, that we have the radius of what? Of 70 plus half of 50 because the diameter you need to convert the diameter to what to radius that will give us what 25 plus radius of 25 right and um, this will give us radius of 95 you can see the reason we are adding is because the circle is going in and whenever the circle is going in it is external which i am going to prove to you now now let's move so if i add it i'm having 95 so i'm going to measure 95 on my meter rule from this point 0 95 here you can see that this is what 95 here so i'm going to place it at the center, one person at the center is because I'm making use of the radius of the circle. So I'll place it here. Is that again? And I'm going to strike 
an arc at this domain here. You can see that. Now, similarly, for the other circle in which the arc is touching, I'm going to still add the radius of what? 70 plus half of that circle. Look at from here, we have two bosses, which is diameter of what? 25. Half of it will give us what? 12.5. Right? So the radius of 12.5 plus 70 will give us 82.5. So I'm going to measure 82.5 on my meter rule this way. 82.5 from here. This is 80, 81, 82, right? So we'll see point 0.5 will somewhere around here. And I'll place it at the center here. And I'm going to check an arc. The arc will cut this point. So that point will be the radius of what? 70. So from that point, I'm going to place my compass at the center point here. Where they intersect. And um, I'm going to draw a curve and arc. It's going to connect them by gauging it, right? So from here, you have to what? You have to gauge it and ensure that. You can see that. So that's the first thing we have to do. Now the next thing is, if you look at the other arc here, the other curve here, what do you notice? That is the radius of what? Radius of sixteen. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, radius of sixteen. That is connecting these two points. That is the radius. We are connecting these two points. Has the radius of what? 16. So what I'm going to do is, I'll just from this line, you see the line I measure? I'm going to measure 16 away from that point. It can be from anywhere. The important is just to measure, to draw a line parallel to this line, but the distance should be what? 16. So I can easily do it anywhere. I can from here, this point here, measure 16. At this point and use my set square to draw or I'll measure another 16 again this way and I'll get two points to form a straight line which is here so I can just connect these two points together so any of the two you can see that so this is what I just need this line now the next thing is like I said earlier this curve here is going in so it means the circle is what is external the arc there is what external so i'm going to add the radiuses so i'm going to add the radius of that 16 plus what the radius of what 12.5 and that's going to give us 28.5 so i'm going to measure 28.5 on my meter rule this is zero this is 20, this is 25, 26, 27, and 28.5 here. And um, I'll place it at the center in which we are using the ridges. Now I'm going to slide and cut an arc here. So that point where the arc cuts the vertical line will be the point in which I'm going to use to draw the curve here. You can see that. So you can just uh, carefully draw this. You can see. Now the next thing is. You can easily take in it from this point because it's just touching this tangentially to this point. So we've done that. 
Then the next thing we have to do is that we have another curve here at this point. But this time, this curve, which you can see, the diagram that's connecting these two circles, is not going in, but it is what it is coming out. And whenever it is coming out, you see the circle is internal, and we are going to subtract the radiuses. So we are going to subtract radiuses. What radius they have in common? The radius they have in common is radius of 106, right? So I'm going to subtract each of those radiuses. But the good news here is the two circles that is being connected together have the same radius. So I only just need to use one of them. So I will say that the radius of what? 106 minus the radius of what? 12.5. Right? So we are going to be having 90 what? 94.5. Is that a king? So we'll be having 93.5, like I said. So the radius of 106 minus the radius of what? 12.5. Why am I using 12.5? Because of the, the diameter of the circle is 12 to 25, and if I divide it by 2, I'll be having 12.5. So when you subtract it, we have in 93.5. So I'm going to measure 93.5 on my meter rule this way 0, 2, let me this way 0 from here. So this is 90, and this is 93.5, somewhere around here, you can see that, so I'm going to move to this point, and I'm going to strike an arc at this point here, so let me just take it down, so you're going to have an insight of what I'm trying to do, so when I place it at this point, I'll strike an arc. I see the arc I'm striking. I'll place it at this point also since they have the same radiuses. I don't have to do it again or strike an arc. So they are meeting at this point. So from this point, I'll place my compass there. That is where I'm going to use to draw what? My arc. So when I place my compass here, I'm going to take it to this point. Right, take it to this point. Make sure that you are gauging it. So it must be what? Tradition. You can see that? So that is what we have there to produce. An arc. I'll be touching this tangentially. Is that the key? So the next thing we should just do is to start doing the dimensioning. We know that if you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.